Hey everyone, it's the Viperian here and first of all, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope that you had a wonderful year. So this video is going to be about the top 8 tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I first started Crash Team Racing. I know that there may be some new influx of new players coming into CTR during the holiday season, so perhaps they got a gift from someone else or they just bought the game for themselves. Either way, this video is mainly targeted for beginners slash newer players, but that doesn't mean that this video is not for veteran or existing players, as some of these tips and tricks are what I came across at the time of this recording, which means that some tips are fairly new to me as well, and might benefit to whoever is watching. So it doesn't really matter as long as you're playing this game, you might learn a thing or two from this video. So before we begin, and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe if you want to as I post weekly tips and tricks videos for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. And with that out of the way, let's get right straight into it. So over at number 8, this is probably the best way to learn the tracks in CTR Nitro Field, which is to play the new mode Ring Rally. The objective of Ring Rally is to pass through as many rings as you can as time counts down, and while doing so, you will get faster and faster. Ring Rally trains your skill at controlling your cart at rough spots, as it sometimes forces you to take harder turns and tight corners. This is especially good for beginner players and veteran players because as I've mentioned, it trains your muscle memories and forces you to practice basic controls of your cart to the full extent. And it also allows you to learn the track to the fullest and it sometimes teach you some new shortcuts that you didn't know were there. Once you got the hang of the track from Ring Rally, I would suggest to kick it up a notch and challenge Entropy and Nitro Oxide in time trials. They will give you the best challenge you can get in offline mode and is by far the best way to practice your skills on harder tracks. And at number 7, it is important for you to understand each driving styles and what are the potential that they can bring to the table. There are a total of 5 driving styles in Crash Team Racing, which are Speed, Acceleration, Turn, Balance and Drift which was recently added to the game. They each handle very very differently, I would highly suggest to try all of them to find one that fits you the most. If you are new to the game and you are having a hard time in races, I would highly recommend using the Acceleration driving style as it isn't as punishing as speed or drift if you messed up. Vice versa, use speed or drift once you got the hang of the game and mastered some basic techniques of card control. Currently with the state of the game, the top 3 best driving styles are basically speed, drift and acceleration. Turn and balance on the other hand are in a rough spot right now because when it comes to competitiveness, they usually don't offer as much benefit to more advanced players. However, don't let this turn you down if you play turn or balance, as they can still be a monster at the right hands. So try them all out and see which one fits you the most. At the number 6 spot, it complements with the previous tip, which is to rely on your driving skills and not your weapons. I can't stress how important this is. Sure, weapons are a good way to get ahead of your opponents as it can stop them temporarily. However, you need to understand that there are a huge skill gap between highly advanced players and lower level players. Which means that if you are highly dependent on only items in races, but your basic driving mechanic such as drifting and boosting is lacking, you will lose 100% of the time no matter what. Imagine shooting a rocket or an electric orb at a highly skilled player, and most of the time he would just shrug it off, reset and continue on his way, and you have no other way to catch up with him. So just remember that items are always considered as nothing but mere support items, you're better off focusing on practicing important basic mechanics of the game. Oh and if you're wondering what are those important mechanics to know about, I'll go through some of them later in this video. So this might be a no brainer for most people but if you are not already aware, the number 5 tip is to play the game at the furthest camera view. I've mentioned it before in my other guide and I've thought to bring it over here as a top 10. Personally, this alone helped me play better in CTR tremendously. With this camera view, you can basically have a wider field of vision of the track, allowing you to spot corners and traps much easier. On top of that, somehow for me it feels much more comfortable to drift boost with this camera setting. Of course, this is mainly personal preference but test it out a few races and you might fall in love with it just like I did. 
So this number 4 tip is one of the things everyone should do during races, which is to prioritize on collecting 10 Wumpa fruits as fast as you can. This is one of the simplest and basic things to do, but not everyone is doing it. Basically, when you collect 10 Wumpa fruits, your character will go much faster and all of your weapons will be upgraded into a stronger version. Some examples are green beakers turning into red beakers and TNT crates turning into nitro crates. Not everyone actually knows the full benefit of collecting 10 Wumpa fruits, so I would highly recommend you to prioritize in this in every race. And number 3, we have mastering basic and advanced mechanics of the game. Now this is actually one of the most important part of the game and I would highly suggest you to master these techniques first. In order of importance, the advanced mechanics that you should be mastering are firstly, drift boosting, secondly, air braking or u-turning, and finally followed by maintaining blue and sacred fire. The reason that drift boosting is the first thing you should focus on is that not only is it the easiest to learn, but it is one of the most powerful skill you can learn in CTR. By mastering drift boosting first, only then you will be open to learn more equally important skills such as air braking and maintaining blue fire. Of course, I can't go through all three in detail, but I already made a separate guide to help those that need it. Link to those guides can be found in the description below. But for now, let's move on to two more tips that beginners should know about. So for the number 2 tip, this might be new to some, and most people might not even want to do it, which is to use the D-pad, otherwise also known as the arrow key. So why should you use the D-pad and why the analog stick is inferior to it? All you need to know is that every, and I mean every pro player that I know of, play CTR with the D-pad. It gives you a faster response time but to your turning and it allows you to do air braking and U-turning with 100% precision. And it also reduces the movement of your thumb, which is more comfortable. Since we already know that air braking and U-turning is important, there are more reasons for you to start getting used to playing CTR with the D-pad. You might get really uncomfortable if you are used to the analog stick, but just play a few races with the D-pad and I guarantee that you will see a noticeable improvement in your games. And now let's move on to what I would consider to be the number one tip that every new player should know about. Shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. There is nothing more satisfying than beating your opponent because you know where all the shortcuts are. If the advanced mechanics of the games are a little too hard for you to pull off, knowing where all the shortcuts are in your favorite tracks is a sure way to give you an advantage as well. Some shortcuts can be taken as a simple jump, but there are some that requires you to have strict timing or even to pull off an air brake which is why I mentioned it in tip number 3. Also, knowing where all the shortcuts are doesn't only give you an advantage to players, but it also helps you to win Oxide goals in time trials, because he just loves taking those shortcuts. TLDR Shortcuts combined with basic and advanced mechanics of the games is the best formula to winning more races. For a full list of shortcuts in CTR, link is in the comment section down below. So that's all of the tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I first started playing Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. If you are a beginner player and don't know where to start, try focusing on the top 3 tips first. I guarantee that even with only the top 3 tips, you'll start to win much more races and people will start questioning how are you playing so well. So do you have any questions? Leave a comment down below and if you want more tips and tricks like this one, do consider subscribing to the channel as I do tutorials, gameplays and more. Also for a full list of my tips and tricks series, click on the left here or click on the right for my latest upload. This is the Vaporeon signing off and I'll see you in the next video.